What is good guys, here with a shot on live uh, after a fat minute. So testing a team my man Eclipse uh, made. 14-0 uh, just laddering up this new account. Um, I was just, yeah. I was just laddering and it was super fun. So I feel, I was like, why not start recording? But of course I started recording when I got stalled for some reason. I don't know why I started. Like, of course I had to get stalled. Man said, okay, like what the fuck is wrong with this guy? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess I'll just hex fish. Whenever I get my Medicham in on Porygon, I try to freeze the Sableye. And Banta should be able to put in some work in this game as well. Uh, oh, I'm Zemo featuring. Why did I not lead with that? Oh, is he static? I should have. Usually I scout for static, but I just mindlessly, mindlessly U turned. But in this game, it doesn't matter too much. Besides, the, besides for the Bulu, it doesn't matter if I get paired. So, like. What do I do here? Medicham? Ah, oh, no, I go Tita. I go Tita and I just, well he has a um, goal score, I just pursued this. If he stays in to roost, um, to scout what I lock myself into, that's a potential play, but I assume he's gonna switch into Glisco or Pex. If I had Ice Punch here, that's a potential play, but I don't have it. Yeah, not sure on the last move yet, you could put superpower on this as well, for um, to help with Chansey on stall. But I put Fire Punch, um, obviously you don't want Earthquake when you have Tapu Bulu because it gets weakened. I mean, I have Earthquake on land, but the terrain is not always up. I don't want two Earthquake months though. But yeah, Pursuit should do a lot, like 55, 60-ish from Bantar. 54, okay. Nice head calc. So Bulu gives out some health, but that's cool. And we find out that he's... Um, Okay, we don't find out that he's leftovers, he's just going to train, yeah. So, um, I just go Torn here. I can freely U-turn now that I know that he's not static. I should have scouted that earlier though, like I said. Always U-turn on this, and now... I'm going to and Crunch. And Grassy Terrain is healing me back. Crunch is just a consistent move here. Uh, I feel like he's going to roost, predicting me to Pursuit, but I guess he just doesn't care. So I should have pursued it again because Glasgow is able to live a crunch with ease. Um, it actually does a lot and I can crunch again because what's it called, the terrain is up so Earthquake wouldn't do that much. Well technically that was a, not the best play because he could have no knocked off my choice band so that was potentially a bad play but it worked out. Um, I'm not gonna stay in now. I think I assume it's gonna be, a, I assume he's a sub toxic variant so this is super 8. I don't want to let my Bulu get toxic. I guess Bulu would have been a potential play there, but I ha would have had to switch out Bulu on packs anyway. Because uh, I obviously don't want to get toxic. Well, this could be toxic spikes too. What do I even U turn? And I just U turn into Heat. Hmm. I don't know. I don't have Wish Pass. If I had Wish Pass into Trend, this would be a wrap. Well, he can trace Flash Fire with his Porygon. I just realized that. That's super annoying. But yeah, if this game goes longer than 20 minutes or 15 minutes, I'll just stop recording. There's nothing to think about. Can you just click skull the toxic spikes or toxic or whatever? Just click a button, dude. Mm, yeah, like I don't. I would have never thought that he would um, volt switch with Zapdos again. I thought Roost was always the play for him. Like that's at least what you would expect him to make and that would also make sense. Like he just tried to throw Zapdos out early game. Uh, but not... Like, Pursuit was really obvious and he vote switched again. I don't get that. And now he's timer stalling me. Like I hate low ladder people with fat shit that timer stall. It's not fun. Um, initially I was gonna use a team that... Um, what's it called? You guys could vote on Twitter what team you want me to use in a live pretty much, right? And I will do a live with that team next. It's a mega slow bro team with Scarf Excadrill. Scarf HP5 Excadrill seems really weird. <laughs> I guess I will just talk about... No, I will not talk about that team. I will talk about this team a bit more. Um, well, I'm debating if I want to make the Medicham adamant because they can 2-hit KO kill favorite, but then help but... I mean, if this guy just times up, we'll take his points. I'm, I don't really mind. Basically, so Eclipse sent me the the six months and told me to put in the sets and then um, yeah first I made the I just put in the the sample sets from Smogon and I changed it a little bit but most of the part of was sample sets but then he said we need heatwave on torn right 
He said you need Heatwave on Tom because Scizor can be a huge problem for this team. It can 6-0 it if Heatran gets worn down because Heatran is also... Yeah, Heatran is quite easily worn down. Well, you have left... Not leftovers. You have Gratitran from Bulu that can keep Heatran somewhat healthy, but you don't have leftovers. It's a Zim of Heatran. Even if you had leftovers, you could get knocked off. Um, it's just cool to have Heatwave as a secondary way of hitting Scizor like really hard. Oh, that's also why I like Fire Punch on... That's also why I like Fire Punch on Tita for Scizor. I didn't think about that yet though. But yeah, what's it called? You could see I was only like 1300 something as a new account, 15.0 now. But this is a matchup. This is the reason. Um, I know Kyurem isn't common these days, but exactly Kyurem is one of the reasons why I run um, Joy on my Medicham because you want to uh, outspeed those Kyurems and bop them with High Jump Kick. And I think this. M might be in range to die from Zen Headbutt. Maybe not, because that fake got crit the 28. Medicham versus Tapu Bulu. Let's just say SD. Well, SD runs HP. So a fake out crit. Fake out on a critical hit, right? Would have done 28 to 34, but it did less, so he has more bulk than that. So that means Ice Punch is a roll in his favor that I don't want to risk. And yeah, I'm not going to stay in. I'm just going to go Torn. As he's a sub variant. So I'm just Heat Wave. Well, he could technically go on a Heat Ran and get a Flash Fire boost. But I figured he might just. Yeah, like he had a sub up. I don't think he was going to switch. And I didn't want to risk missing Hurricane. Oh yeah, Heat Wave is also cool because it's more accurate than Hurricane. But versus Kartana, it's really cool. But you don't have to rely on Hurricane. And now we just go to Big Papa Medicham, uh, unless he's Scarf Trend, but he, he already showed leftovers. And we just click High Jump Kick here. Well, he could have Protect, he could have Protect. So I think I'm gonna Ice Punch on a potential Protect. Okay, I guess this guy doesn't have it. Like usually on low ladder they run Protect with lefties. Or like in, in general, that's a set also that's really common, the French set, like Protect Toxic. Definitely an option. Um, Protect is like really obvious, but this guy seems to not want to click it, so I'll just go hard Heatran, because I don't want to risk it. He really doesn't give a fuck. I could have high jump kicked him in the face. Uh, we will get our rocks up here as uh, finally he clicks Protect. He clicks it on the wrong turn, like that made no sense to click it right there. Uh, I want to fire Z move the Glisco on the switch, but I don't think it kills from full because, yeah, I think you, I need rocks up. Wait, I have rocks up. So yeah, I can I can kill the he the Glisco here if I Z move. Uh, potential play he can make is going to his Heatran, but I assume he's gonna go Glisco and I just wanna kill it with the Z move. Cool, 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 cool. I forgot I had rocks up, I just set them up. I don't know what I'm saying. It's like yeah, I mean it's early in the morning here, but no yeah. Um yeah, like I actually I didn't want to record with this team. The reason I used this is because I got me fast games on low ladder. And I liked how this team felt, like it was just so fun to use, like I haven't used Medicham in a while, it's just so fun to click high jump kick and kill everything on low ladder or like in, on ladder in general. If they don't have a Mew, like th they don't have much for Medicham, like most teams don't have a switch in. And we have U-turn on this and on this to get Medicham in. Mm, what's it called? Like a lot of teams you see these days don't have Medicham answers. So I'm expecting a fusion boulder of power here. Hard landers is too risky. Do I need my Tita for anything this game? Tita could be cool for the heat trend, but I don't think I need my Tita. So I think I do I need my heat trend is the question. I don't need my heat trend, right? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna sack my heat trend, and he over predicts exactly. Like I feel like I had no reason to. Um, to go hard land or torn and on a on a predicted off power or fusion bolt like that just doesn't make much sense. Um, now he's definitely gonna click fusion bolt, um, but I still don't have a reason to go lando. Do I need my lando? Scarf lando is really cool with explosion because it can buff the Gyarados later in the game if Gyarados becomes a problem. Well, I have Bulu for Gyarados as well if it's Mega, but if it's Z move, it can become a huge problem. And fake out sh explosion should bring it into fake out range from Medicham. And other than that, his team is slow, so I don't want to sack my speed control pretty much for a potential DD Gyarados. And yeah, I think I'll just. He over predicts again. Don't freeze me. Cool. Like, I didn't need my Heatran. I th I don't think I did need it. His Defogger was already dead. Uh, so yeah. 
he is gonna what does he have protect and sub why did he go to this i'm just gonna kill this like i guess i could go in a torn but i might as well kill him if he gives me like okay just forfeits Re really nice donations let me pause and change out the music okay what are we facing now this is a really weird team mega mobile has been super common but <laughs> the rest of this team is like so weird like no ground type and Hmm. I'm not a big fan of Zera Aura. I haven't done a live with it yet. I really don't like that mon. It's like, it's like kind of underwhelming. But yeah, Fagot is always free here. Uh, he doesn't have potential static or anything. Like I guess he could have Rocky Helmet Rotom, but if he goes to that, um, I now I find out if he's offensive or defensive. And High Jump Kick. Well, I'm gonna calc if he's offensive. High Jump Kick just kills defensive Rotom after Fagot. I'm pretty sure and what's it called uh how much so fake would have done yeah he's a defensive rotom for sure wait i got like a low roll and he's like max defense but yeah we're gonna get this roll high jump kick and we miss cool <laughs> i mean you can say i didn't have to risk it right there I mean, even if I got a low roll, I would have done like 80, I guess, if he's like more bulky than this. But that, that was really annoying. Mm -mm -mm. I don't think this all calls me exactly because I'm a max HP Tornadoes and I can scout. Now I know he's locked into Ice Punch so I can go into my Heatran and hopefully no freeze. That would be really annoying if he freezes me because I need this for more while. And I can just get my rocks up here. I could have also doubled out into Medicham maybe. I was expecting him to go Ditto or Rotom, obviously. Like, I rocked in case he goes Ditto. So, like, I didn't really... Hmm. I, mean, I could have potentially doubled, I just didn't think that through enough. Um, yeah, I'm expecting him to Volt Switch. I'll just go Boodle. No one... I guess he got Wisp there. Yeah, he does Wisp. Well, I was gonna say no one Wisps there. Like, Volt Switch is just super free. Uh, but I, I guess in case I go Lando, he Wisped. I don't really know. Like, I would never go Lando there on a potential pump. Hello? Like, what? Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Um, I'm expecting the Kartana here, so I'm gonna go for Super Power. He stays in. Um, I thought that I was slower, but I should have known that I'm faster potentially because he's like max defense. I could if, I could tell from the fake out damage that managed him did to him that he's like near max defense. Okay, I'm, I've had enough of this guy. I'm gonna play aggressive now for no reason because I know he's gonna Volt Switch here. Um, yeah, like I don't have to make that play, but I'm just super mad now. <laughs> So back into Bulu we go on a pump, on a wisp. Like he should be going into his Kartana, but this guy seems to not give a fuck. So we will just kill his Rotom, cool, as he lives. So hopefully no pain split. He's a berry Rotom. Okay, that's super annoying. He, he double, <laughs> he tries to will wisp me predicting the land. And I'm gonna go to Landris now. Actually, no, no. I'm gonna super power here trying to catch the Kartana, but this guy just wants to throw his Rotom out. Like I know he would have lived. But he's, yeah, I guess he just didn't care. I could have gone back to Landris, you guys saw I had it clicked for a second, right? I think I did. And I cancelled it because it was just unnecessary risky. Uh, yeah. I mean, my Bulu is not even needed in this game, but it's cool for the Zero Aura, so that's why it's really annoying that this got burned. Uh, I probably should have tried to play a little bit different around the Rotom, but... Um, here, he's either going to Ice Beam or Gunk Shot, so I'm going to go Heatran. Uh, Ice Beam, don't freeze me. Now I have to scout for... Hydro Pump slash Low Kick. I don't have a play that covers everything. Uh, well, he could be... No, I don't think he's Scarf. I think he's going to be Scarf Ditto and this could be Z-Move or some... Uh, I, I don't know. Probably Z-Move or Expert Build. Mm. I did 9%. Let me calc because if he's Max Special Attack, that can give information away. Like if he's max special attack, he's most likely not low kick. But if he's uh, what's its face? If he's not, okay, he's probably max special attack. So he might have hydro pump. That's so that means I can't really pivot into Lando here. I don't really have a play. <laughs> like, yeah, he's not choice locked. I might just have to set my Bulu. I'm gonna superpower on an ice beam if I can live an ice beam. Yeah, like my Bulu is burned so. I feel like I'd rather sag this. He has gunk shot, okay. He just didn't go for it earlier. And now, um... 
He had pump and gunk shot, that's odd. I don't really have a great play here. <laughs> like, because the grassy terrain prevents actually. Actually, a max attack land on this, which is cool. Like, he might stay in here. And since he's a poison type, it cancels out the grassy terrain, so this still kills. Yeah, it doesn't kill. What? It's a roll, yeah. Like, a max attack, so I thought I would kill him. Like, I know it doesn't always kill, but I thought it was a roll in my favor. Okay, I, it's a mid roll. Never mind, it's in his favor. Wow, I didn't know that roll. My bad then. But, like, what else was I gonna do? Oh, I could have gone T-Tar, but if he's Waterium or if he has Low Kick. I don't think he has Low Kick, but you never know. But yeah, now I'm expecting the Rotom to come out. So I'll go into Medicham. And, um, damn. <laughs> I feel like I misplayed a little bit, but I also, on the other side, don't have much counterplay for the Greninja. I think I just go for Zen Headbutt here. No, I just High Jump Kick. I already missed one, and there's no way I'm missing another one. <laughs> Like, if I then headbutt that, that's a pussy play, because just in case he goes hard into Greninja or more wild for some reason, high jump kick is always the play, that's how I see it. If I miss, he's gonna kill me with Volt Switch either way, so if I miss a Zen headbutt, so like, high, high jump kick was always the play. Now, he can smart tricky and kill my Tornadoes. I kinda wanna go hard heat train, because I don't think he's gonna Sacred Sword, but I don't know. <laughs> Do I need my T-Tar? It does cool because I th think it might outspeed the more while I actually don't know if it does. Uh, what's its face? How much does Morwell usually run? Oh Morwell doesn't get out gets outsped by Tita, so Tita is still valuable. Um this Medicham doesn't do much because it dies to sucker punch. Yeah, I'll just sack I'll just sack the Medicham. Okay, and now um I find out all these life orb, so I know that my torn outspeeds him. And I can just click heat wave here. Hmm, kinda wanna click U-turn because the Zero Aura might come out, but in case he stays in, always Heat Wave. Because this is a big threat to Kartana, and thankfully he gives me the Kartana. And now, I might have to set my Heat Train here. Well, Heat Train is good for Mawile, but Fire Punch from Banta is also gonna destroy the Mawile and bring it into range. Um, from either Heat Wave or like Land of Quake. Gonna just like the biggest threat now. Like he lost his katana, so I don't necessarily need this torn. Do I need this for anything else? I don't think I do. Look, okay, the question is: Do I need torn or do you need heatran more? I think heatran is a little bit more valuable. I don't know. Yeah, I think heatran is a little bit more valuable, so I'll just set my torn. I do vortex gets a kill, and I'll just click U turn here with my land though. But yeah, this Protein Greninja in general is like really hard to deal with. The other team I had would have done amazing versus him. Because I don't think he has Dark Pulse on his Greninja, so my Slowbro would have been able to wall it. Like that other team that I was going to use is Bulu plus Slowbro. And usually between those two you can deal with most Greninja variants. The only problem for that team is if the Greninja has Ice Beam and this um, Ash and you go Bulu. But now I think I can just... Well, if I go with Tren, it's a 50 between Off Power and fire move. Actually, I can just go trend and click off power. Does it Oko more? Well, I don't think it Okos. My other option would be um, a max special attack. I, don't, I clicked on utility, obviously, that's why it's uh, that's why it gave the Hedrian no special attack. Off power that doesn't kill. Why is he saying send you Hedrian? Can you, sh like, let me f decide on my own what I'm gonna do? How much does Tita's fire punch do? Well, if I go Tita, he can technically go hard into Ditto. He can technically go hard into Ditto and pursue me, but like I think Tita has to play and just click Fire Punch. As it's a roll in his favor, never mind. Mm. Um, yeah, I feel like this is a roll in his favor, yes, but if I would have gone into Heatran... Can I get the roll? Nice, lucky and bad today. I mean, I don't, I don't really know about the bad part, but I definitely played this a bit questionable at some turns. I guess you can say like sometimes I'm just in clicker mode. I mean, it was actually was it a roll? In my, it was in my favor actually. Now that I think about it, I said it's in his favor 
I said it's not likely to kill because I assumed he has more HP than 40 HP, right? But I don't know how much HP he has. The Skrill Ninja cannot kill me, so I think I'll just Fire Punch. I'm pretty sure Hydro Pump doesn't Oko me from because I have a Spadev boost from the Sand. And I obviously didn't have a switch in. And I don't need my Tita at full because I assume he has close combat on the Zara Aura anyway, so no point keeping Tita at full if it's gonna die to this. Only point keeping it at full would have been taking a hit from the Ditto, I guess, but like, who cares? Scarf Lando is gonna clean now unless he's um, Scarf Zara Aura. Well, he has Ditto that can copy my Lando, but yeah, this is completely fine. So he can kill me here with close combat, I don't really mind. I'm not gonna go hard into my Landris and risk it for no actual reason on a potential HP ice. That would have been a that would be a choke. So he can have this Tita, I'm just gonna sag it. And I'm gonna calc real quick. Well I'm pretty sure U-turn kills because of the defense drop that he has and because I'm max attack. So yeah, I'm max attack, so I can just Well I can HP ice here to catch the Ditto off guard. Uh, let me calc that. Um you guys can hear Nice, um, nice bells in the background. I, I assume you guys can hear it. It's that's the 6 a.m. in the morning bells um, in my village. So Zara Aura is at minus one at both defenses. I hope the my voice is like getting recorded fine. Like I hope the music is not louder compared to my voice. But yeah, HP ice doesn't kill. Um, I'm just gonna yeah. Well, actually, I am gonna HP ice because I'm so confident that he's going hard. Like, I'm just confident he's gonna make that play. So I'm gonna read him because if I went for U-turn, um, then it's a 50-50 between him going. Actually, maybe not. Maybe I'm over like thinking this. Um, but yeah, he cannot kill me here. So pretty sure. Well, does explosion kill me? Is the question. That's really weird. I hate calking like versus myself. Let me close my window real quick. I don't know if the background noises are too loud. But yeah, how much does explosion do? Explosion um, at plus one, aka neutral, kills me. Wow. So I think the play here is to switch out in the heat run. Because if he goes for HPI, so explosion, this works out in my favor. Yeah, exactly. And, um, yeah, um, maybe he still had a shot if he U-turned there, or off quick, yeah, if he off quick there, obviously, if he off quick there, I would have been screwed. Um, oh, I know, I didn't call explosion with my HP investment, I have 60 HP, in, uh, 60 defense investment. So I think explosion would have been a roll. Um, yeah, explosion would have been a, a roll. So like it still wasn't over, even if you off quick there. Maybe I miscalked. I don't know about the intimidate calc. Um, I have no reason to reveal this in case I play this guy again. So I'll just pick him off with this. Get another one. Change up the music. Okay, I really don't want to. Well, actually, what am I saying? Yeah, this guy has a um, he has a normal team finally, which is cool. Like I'm really tired of this super low ladder where they. Where I have, okay, fourteen eighty four on. Okay, his win loss is super bad. Um, Medicham is amazing in this match. Kills this and this. I just have to be careful about the potential static. Mm, Tita is great if it can trap the Zapdos. For my torn, um, Alakazam is a huge problem for my team. I think Torn is overall a good lead for me, um, because it can live a. Can live a potential scarf stone edge and just get momentum with U-turn. Well, I don't want to U-turn because there's a Zapdos. I'm just, I'm just gonna hurricane in case he's one of those guys that go hard into Zapdos on Tornadus to get the para turn one. And now we can now we find out that he's a bulky leftovers Landris. Um I really um like that he's leftovers and he also takes some helmet chip there for no reason. I really like that he's leftovers and not Rocky Helmet, so I can just Ice Punch him later without having to take Helmet. And I also find out he's Pressure, so I can freely U-turn on this. Now he's most likely gonna Discharge. Uh, kinda wanna go... Like obviously Tita is a potential play here, but I don't wanna risk getting paralyzed. So I am just gonna go this, I know this was really risky. Um, thing is, he can still predict my Tita. But it's unlikely that he's gonna predict my Tita, because yeah, I just know how these slow ladder people play. And now I can just click Crunch, cause... 
I can also click Fire Punch, trying to nuke the Kartana. Um, a Crunch hits everything on his team. He might go Landris. Um, should I pursue this? I'm f trying to figure out. Um, I feel like Crunch is the play, just because um, I know Pursuit would have worked out there in my favor. But the reason I went for Crunch is because in case he stays into Roost to scout what I lock myself into. If I go for Pursuit, I'm in a bad spot and I have to switch. And then he gets to Discharge Fish on my Heatran or whatever I go out into. So I think I made the correct play. Um, I just... Like, I got the play wrong, but if he stays in and Roost on my Pursuit, I'm in a bad spot is what I'm trying to say. Uh, he only needs, like, 20 speed investment or something to outspeed me, so I assume he's faster. Just go back to Torn here. And yeah, just defog these. Well, he can technically spam rocks. Get back leftovers and uh, what's it? Yeah, he's doing that. So I'll just click Heat Wave here and see if we, yeah. See if we can get a burn, I guess. No, I was just not, I was just not. Like Heat Wave pretty much, um, I figured Heat Wave doesn't kill. And what's it called? If he went Zapdos, it does a little bit more than Hurricane, I guess, and it has a burn chance. <laughs> but yeah, it seems like he's just um, he's just spamming rocks, so that's fine with me. He's gonna get them up in the long run. I don't think there's much I can do about it. Well, actually, I can heat with him whenever he's out of range from. Well, I guess he can eventually go in a heat train, predicting that. When he's out of range, I can always heat wave him. How much did heat wave do? 23. So we go for it here again. And now we HP ice as well. So if I defog there, I would have been in a hard position. I should have defog there and then I could have uh, killed him with Hurricane. Because Hurricane cannot miss because of the defog lowering, lowering the evasion. I mean, oh, he messed up, and now I get the hurricane. <laughs> See, you just have to be patient, with, especially with this, um, like, a lot of people are not patient. So, like, that seemed boring, obviously. I just did the same thing over and over again, but I'm not staying in in case he scarfed Ren here. I'm going hard T-Tar. Because Tornadoes is valuable for, it can help versus the Kartana. Sorry for the miss, my guy. But yeah, this you can tell this guy was eventually not gonna go for rocks. He got impatient. <laughs> That's why I like like patience pays off on the ladder. Trust me on that one. So now I just crunch, I think. The reason I crunch is because it gets me something out of the turn always and it does more to katana than stone edge. And it cannot miss, which is great. Now I can go tornadoes. The only way he can kill me is if he's banded with like smart strike or knockoff. I don't need my Torn for much. Well, Tornadus would be good because it can kill it, take a hit from Alakazam if I regen back to f to a bit more health. So let me think this through. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, I have Fake Out for Alakazam too if it's not recovered to chip it down. And I have a Scarf Lando that's still at full. So I think Torn is still the play here. Um, so if he's Bandit now, I go down, but that it's not Bandit. I'm thinking that's Scarf damage. I obviously don't know that yet. My play here is either Lando or Heatran. Heatran, um, Heatran is good for Zapdos, but it's not needed. Heatran can also trap the packs. Yeah, I'll just go Heatran just in case he's not choice and he goes for knockoff randomly. I don't want to let my Scarf get knocked off. I want my Scarf to outspeed the Alakazam. Also, I have to make sure that, um, that I'm 31 speed IVs because earlier I had 30 IVs and then I speed died with Mega Alakazam and then I got out sped that was so annoying and I lost the speed die of course lost me actually didn't lose me again I still won but yeah almost so now um expecting Alakazam or something like that do I need rocks in this I mean I could have just taken my kill there with fire move unless he went hard into trend like Fire Zeke would have gotten a kill kinda. But he just forfeits cool. So we will get one last game. Okay, I, I just saw I was like kind of far away from my mic, so I hope the audio is fine. Um but yeah, we got a guy, we got a game. 
the audio is not fun, I'm gonna be pissed. The reason why I'm not editing the music in after the... I'm not editing the music in after the video because my um, computer is so bad that rendering would take forever. This is kind of a touch tough match because... Um, um, well, I feel Torn is a great lead. Basically, I have to be careful around the Vol Corona. Um, if it's HP ground, it pretty much just 6 owes me if he plays it correct. Um, but what I have to do is get up rocks as soon as possible and get it in faker, like try to get it in faker range, I guess. Oh, yeah, U turn here. He's Mega Tar, so. <clears throat> is, he, is this his rocker? Oh, yeah, this is probably his rocker. If it's not, I thought the Clef was the rocker at first. A really weird team from his side. Um, so my play here is. I don't really want to go land on a potential Ice Punch, but I'm not sure. I, I think he doesn't have Ice Punch and also doesn't Oko, I think, with the Intimidate. Yeah, he's a DD variant, so this got me something out of the turn. U-turn chip plus the Intimidate off. Now he's probably gonna Ice Punch over DD again. Um, yeah, I feel like I go Heatran on the, on the Ice Punch here. And don't freeze me, because I need this to get rocks up. This, is, yeah, thankfully he doesn't freeze. And now I can go back into my Landris. Damn, I could have gotten rocks up there, but I was not gonna risk him staying in and going for Cruncher off quick. And yeah, it's too important. But yeah, um, Landris was, in my opinion, the play. Now, I don't have good switch ins for Gastron. If I predict the Toxic, I can go Hard Heatran and bluff the Grassium, but there's no point doing that. Um, this is exa yeah, that's exactly why I didn't want to go hard into Bulu. And this is a scenario where I wish I had knockoff on this, but I don't have knockoff, unfortunately. So this is gonna be really annoying, but he does switch out, so this worked. <laughs> now we can just go... Um, we can go... Well, if U-turn kills from Landris, then I think U-turn is always the play here. The only way U-turn doesn't work out for me is if he goes Vol Corona and Flame Buddy burns me on a U-turn. I can also just click Earthquake with my Landris. I think I can good. I can just do that. Click Earthquake because it's max attack. I'm not used to my Landris being max attack. I'm used to the bulky spread. Is he balloon? Oh my god, he got me there. Um, makes sense that he's balloon because his team has no ground resist other than balloon and like I guess Clef is like a pseudo ground resist. So I should have just clicked U-turn, honestly. I just went for Earthquake because it, like, I thought it hit everything, but yeah, U-turn was the play. I just didn't want him randomly going Volcarona and Flame Buddy Burn because it's still low ladder. Like, they can, they make plays like that. I don't trust them. This uh, puts me in a weird spot. Because now, um, well, he's DD Tar, so that's actually not too bad for me. If he's, if he, because, like, if he could get rocks up here, that would be annoying for me. But yeah, he doesn't have rocks on this. This guy is playing really weird, I don't know. But yeah, that edge, that edge hurts. Um, like, I didn't understand the Tita play, but I'm also not really paying attention, I guess that's why. Wait, why did he go Tita? He didn't Tita on what? Yeah, like... My lander was locked into Earthquake and he doubled this out, which I didn't understand. He could have just iron headed. I didn't have a good switch in for that. Like, I don't understand what he's doing. What he did earlier with the double out. Now, um, he's sand rush, right? Wait, is he sand rush? I didn't pay attention if the sand was up earlier when he was in. I guess it wasn't up earlier. But yeah, he's most likely sand rush. So, um. Corkscrew Crash probably kills my Tornadoes, I'm like pretty sure it does, because Z-moves are really strong. Um, I'm just a max HP Torn. Custom set to the 8 in defense. Well, this one is different, but it's fine. The only thing that matters is the EVs and um, Z-move Iron Head, right? Um, yeah, that kills me, so... Kind of... I don't really have a... Fuck, I, I want this Torn because it can potentially kill the Volk with Hurricane. I think I'm gonna go Heatran here, anticipating the Cox go crash, as he just goes for Rock Slide. Would Rock Slide even have killed? It would have not have killed me, so unless he flinched me, it would not have done much. Um, You can obviously predict the switch and go for Iron Head, or you can go for SD as well. 
I figured he wouldn't though and now I'm free to click off quick because I broke his balloon earlier. <clears throat> well, he could go balloon potentially. So I guess U-turn was an option. But yeah, this forces him to heal. So I don't lose anything from clicking off quick. Now I'm going to heat train and get my rocks up, which is what I need. I can also taunt him, but I don't want to taunt and have him go Gastrion. And then just not get rocks up. Rocks are too important for me for that Volcarona. And also, I'm pretty sure I'd speed this and I'd hopefully kill it with an off power from this range. Yeah, because he's an offensive DD tar. So this is going well. And now I assume he's going to over predict here. I really want to stay in because I just know he's going to predict my Lando or my Torn to come out. Do I. Also, I, yeah, I want to keep my T at full because it can take a plus one bug buzz. As long as it's not Bugginium, I can take a plus one hit from the um, Volcarona. And I also want Roxa because of the Breloom. Or also he can go for Rapid Spin here, right, right. He can go for Rapid Spin here. So I think I'm, I think it's the correct play to stay in and sack the Heatran to keep Rox on the field. Well, I can't keep Rox, he can just keep spinning. But basically I'm going to off-power anticipating him to Rapid Spin. Uh, yeah, I feel like if he kills my Heatran and I keep Rox up, it's worth it. Um, why is he saying of course as if I hexed him? I did not hex you my guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> the boy said of course like what? Th basically, I just feel like it wasn't worth it to let him rapid spin and switch out there if he spins He has to pay with his excadrill If you switched I would have used earthquake what? <laughs> oh I understand what he's trying to say I understand what he's trying to say, okay. So like, I guess he's saying he always gets the plays wrong. But yeah, basically rocks are too important for me. And I can get them back up right here. Should I do that? Yeah, I need rocks for Volcarona and it breaks Brilliant, Brilliant Sash. And in case he scolds, he doesn't even kill me. So cool, 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 cool. <laughs> And I can still Magma Z, Magma Storm the Clef or the Volk later if I don't I don't have to risk missing for the Volk. Was the Volk. Now I guess I'll keep this around. Well I probably might have to sack it anyway. I can hurricane once. And maybe try to force him to go for a recover here and then Well he doesn't have to recover, he can just keep scalding. Medicham is important to keep it around with the fake outs. Um for backup insurance versus Volcarona. So is T can Tita. Like, Tita can be important. So I think it's just Sack Heatran here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sack Heatran. And now, um. Because if I go Hot Bulu, I can get burned. Now, I think I just high jump kick. Well, obviously, that's risky because it can miss and stuff like that. No, it's Zen Headbutt. Zen Headbutt is the play here. If it kills. Um, if he's a fizz dev gastron, does Zen Headbutt still kill? Um, let's say he's spedev. Zen Headbutt does 69. Okay, Zen Headbutt is a roll, so we're gonna fake out for... I don't know, yeah. I don't know what... <laughs> Dude, what am I doing? Like, obviously Clef can come out and Zen Headbutt is a roll to 2 hit KO Clef, so I should have Zen Headbutted. But I was paranoid that I don't get the Zen Headbutt roll on the Gastron. But Zen Headbutt was always my play there. And yeah, you can see it's a roll on the Clef. With leftovers, it's like a 47% chance to kill. Oh well, that was a misplay. And Clef can actually be a huge problem because I lost... No, 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 Bulu beats Clef. Clef is a problem because I lost my Heatran. But I think it's worth it that I gave up my Heatran to keep rocks on the field. Plus 2 Hall Leech is gonna do a lot basically and he can't switch into this. Brunum is gonna get destroyed. And he can't put me to bed because I'm a grass type. Cool, cool, cool. Now, you can... I can... I kinda rushed that the last few turns. <laughs> I don't know why I faked out. I got paranoid as shit that he would stay in and I wouldn't kill him. Mm. Basically, I should have SD'd again on the Brillo maybe. But then if he SD'd on his, himself, this would be too low. But I, I probably should have SD'd and then sacked this. And not cared if I lose. Like, I should have not cared about this being a around too much. Well, actually, I kind of need this for the clef, so never mind. Never mind. 
Yeah, basically, I think what I have to do here is... Mm, is Isa gonna roost if he has it or... If not, he's just gonna Kurva Dance, I think. I think I go hard into Tita, right? And he's a Fiery Dance variant. And he's Leftovers. Okay, so him being Leftovers means... He can't kill me. Oh, wait, what? That kill Oh, he got the special attack boost. I didn't see that. My bad. <laughs> but now... I have to either hit a Hurricane with my Tornadoes, or I have to win a Speed Tie with my Medicham. What do I want to do? Speed Tie is a 50-50, Tornadoes Hurricane is a 70% chance, so it's higher odds. Please hit my guy. I mean, I don't know if he's max speed, so I could have also been faster with Medicham. Um, he's left over, so yeah, that he might, yeah, like he might just not be max speed. But thankfully, we're going to be able to win this game, I'm pretty sure. I uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, some of the games I could have played a bit different, but we were able to come out on top on the like dangerous low ladder. I'm gonna eventually bring you guys games with like where I'm high on the ladder. Thankfully, he's calm. Man. If he's cosmic power, um, I might have just lost to this. If he's cosmic power, I probably would have lost to it. Yeah, cosmic power would have six helped me. <coughs> but yeah, smash that like button if you enjoyed, and see you guys next time. Goodbye. Um, team will be in the description if my man Eclipse is fine with it, otherwise you're gonna have to steal it um, when I hover over the mons. <laughs> but yeah, I was happy to, to do a live. For you guys, uh, if you want to see more live, show your support. If you want to uh, see more lives, and if you don't want to see more live, see ju if you just want to see me uh, upload more tournament games, like I still have World Cup, SPL, stuff like that in the back, just let me know in the comments. If you want a live again or if you want PS a tournament game, I mean. And that's pretty much it. I th there was something else I wanted to say, but I forgot. Um I will do something again where I put you guys four teams that you can vote on in the description. But I'll do that after the next time I use the team. Because you already voted on a team on Twitter. So I'm gonna have to use that in the video. A uh, team that I will gonna is that I'm gonna use is kinda similar to this. Like I mean three Three ones are different, so it's not super similar, and the sets are also different. Um, because on this team, it's leftovers, Bulu. On the team I'm gonna use next, it's Grass MZ. And it's, um, what's it called? Yeah, it has an interesting Mega Slowbro set that we are gonna test out. But yeah, I don't know. I, I can keep rambling for like forever, I feel. Just gonna end it here, and I wish you guys a fantastic day, and goodbye.